Nightwing made his first appearance in 2011 in the DC comic book series, Batman Incorporated. So before Luke Fox, David Zavimbe, known as the Batman of Africa, was introduced in the fifth issue. By the time David retired, Luke had proven his value to Batman. Just FYI, no sidekick actually likes being referred to as a sidekick. Copy that. My number two dude. Nope, not that dude. Luke may not have superpowers, but he was a skilled fighter, having trained in mixed martial arts and cage fighting. So as the son of Lucius Fox, Luke had the same brilliant engineering mind as his father. His tech savvy bat suit allowed him to accomplish some very impressive stunts, like flying tremendous speeds with a special mechanical glider cape. Now there are a few differences between the bat wing of the comics and the one I portray on television. <laughs> What the hell are you? Justice. Luke and Tavaroff were friends in the comics before becoming rivals, whereas on Batwoman, Tavaroff is a full-blown villain from the start. Comic book Luke builds the suit with his dad, but on our show, it's Lucius who actually creates the Batwing suit based off of Luke's childhood drawings. In the season two finale, Luke discovers this years after his dad dies. When I was a kid, I drew pictures of how I imagined a black Batman would look. Turns out that my dad was secretly turning those pictures into reality. I can't even describe the feeling of putting on the suit for the first time. The costume designer, Maya Manny, and her incredible team did an amazing job designing it and helping me portray this character the way that I envisioned him on the big screen. 